Still talking about the planned protest by One Voice Nigeria. And joining me now is Loretta Onoche, who is the personal assistant to President Buhari on social media. Welcome to Sunrise Daily. I'm delighted to be here. Well, so, <clears throat> excuse me, what's your take on this planned protest? We had seen you on social media saying that you wanted to engage Two-Face Edibia in a debate. And then shortly after, we saw another uh, campaign group saying that they were going to organize a counter-protest. Uh, I stand with Buhari. We understand that's the name of the protest, uh, protest group, you know, to counter this particular one. What's your own take on the protest? Um, I just want to thank you for giving me this uh, uh, live opportunity to, uh, to explain where I stand uh, uh, on this issue of debate, of a uh, sorry protest. I would like to say that uh, protests anywhere in the world are part of uh, democratic nations. Um, I, for, for me, I have been part of many protests. Um, I was involved in the, 12, uh, uh, the uh, 2012 uh, 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 first subsidy protest. The Occupy Nigeria protest. In the UK, I was part of the uh, Bring Back Our Girls uh, protest to uh, bring uh, 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 the, the, the then government you know, to, to become alive to their responsibilities towards the girls. Um, uh, when uh, Ibori was uh, arrested uh, in the UK, I was there, out there almost every day. I was in court protesting with my placard, and it is known, everybody. So I could never, ever stand against protest. What I frown at, what I frown at, and I still do, are the motives behind the protest. Um, I have come back to Nigeria to see that uh, protests are not really what we see. Uh, a few months ago, uh, 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 I don't want to mention their name, they advertised the widely openness. And like I do in the UK, I always have my placard by the door. I whipped up my placard and four of us, three other younger uh, men I work with, we went to support the protest at the National Assembly. I wasn't politically appointed as at that time, so... I could be classed as, an, you know, just a, a consent Nigerian, which I still am. And I got there, and I was nearly mobbed. What are you doing here? You are not one of us. Why did you write that? Everyone had this uh, uh, placard made out for them. They all wore the same T-shirts, the same caps, the same, uh, the same they had this bold ba banner, that attacked the presidency, not the Senate, not the National Assembly that we were, we were coming to open. What I had on my placard was what, how I felt about the issue of the National Assembly. What did you have on your placard? I, I, I can't remember it precisely, but it had to do with you know, opening NAS and, and, and stuff like that. What did they have on their own placards? Um, uh, the National Assembly have jobs. Um, uh, the presidency have jobs, uh, Nigerians do not have jobs, something in that, in that line. It's not the National Assembly that, that creates jobs. It is a, so it was an attack on the presidency. And so, in fact, somebody pointed it out straight away there. And I was pushed out. They, they had their cordon, and they said I couldn't stay with them. I left where they had their cordon and went outside. Why were you singled out? Because I wasn't part of uh, the, or whatever scam they were, they were, uh, they, they had involved themselves. Because I later came, uh, eventually, I, uh, I, I, as I said, I left the cordoned area, and I went outside of, still holding my placard. And what they did was that uh, they, they, uh, people started taking pictures of me. People, journalists and, uh, and media people, they, they came and they were taking pictures of, 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 uh, of me and my placard. They left their own, and they came and said, I should leave. So I left. And after I got home, one of the guys we work with at Buhari Support Organization during the campaign uh, uh, called me and said, and said the organizers wanted to speak to me. And they said they apologized for the way I was treated. 
but that I will have to learn how they protest in Nigeria. It turned out, according to the young man, that a few unwholesome things happened, so the, the uh, protest was not really protest. It was an avenue for some people to line up their pockets. So I became very wary of Nigerian protests. So when um, I read in the news uh, uh, two, two Faced to lead other stars to protest President Buhari's policies, I'm a teacher. I read body language. So I looked at, I looked at the headline and I thought there's something not quite right here. Protect, poli uh, protest policies. What policies? Because you can't protest something you are not aware, you, you, you don't know. So I wanted to be sure that Two-Face and the people he was leading into the protest understood what the policies were. So I said to him, in a just a, a, a short in in, in a short uh, 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 picture on the social media, I said, protests are acceptable. No, no, nobody should argue that. But we, I want to know. I want to know what policies. What are those policies you are not happy about? Come and tell us on national television, because we want to hear him say it. I don't want a few people to just write something for him or for anybody and they put it on the pages of newspapers. Everybody, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. So we wanted him, I wanted him to come on national television, to come and explain to Nigerians what those policies he was not happy with were. And, what, uh, and then that will help somebody like me on the social media to explain things further for him. Thereafter, and then if he had uh, better options, better alternatives, he could proffer. No mm. government is, let is, me, is let perfect. Me, let, let's go back a little. So it does look, because I, I also know that, you know, one of the groups that you, uh, one of the, the protests you mentioned, Open NAS, I know that one of the arrowheads of that particular group is enough is enough. I don't know. And this one was cops or something like that. Cops, okay. CUPS, something like that. Okay, so, well, right now, I, I do know that Enough is Enough is one of the participants in this One Voice Nigeria protest. Mm. Are, you, are you aware of that? That's right. Okay, so um, th those kind of NGOs will also have an idea of what the policies are and, you know, what it is precisely that they would want to protest. Mm -hmm. But it does look like... Uh, because you belong to the Buhari Support Organization, yep. when you went to for the open NAS protest, they believed that perhaps you shouldn't be there, or maybe they felt that uh, you were going to paint the, uh, the because the people know you uh, that perhaps they didn't know who I was. So how were they? It was to... after I left. One of one of the uh, uh, young men that worked with us that came from the states with uh, one of those organizations. He was the one who told them who I was, and that's how they called me to apologize. No, but they, they did not know who I was. It was the placard. Mm -hmm. They just judged me based on what they saw. The placard I had did not represent what they thought they were protesting. So they, they, was, they, at that point, they didn't know who I was. And that was in Nigeria? Yes, and you were National the, Assembly. And you yes. were the only one who was singled out? No, we were, there were four of us. Mm -hmm. I came with three other people. And if you want, I can mention their names. They are still alive. So, uh, and, and four of us were, we, we, were just, we, we were just harassed and, and we left. Four of us. So four of you stood out. They did not offer you T-shirts or offer you no. extra placards? No. Okay. So that's no. informed and, you. And then the, the later on I was told that some people had come to join earlier before we arrived and they were sent back. Okay. So right now, what's your take on this particular protest? The protesters have said that they're going to go on anyway uh, with their protest. And uh, you've seen the drama that's gone on with the Nigeria police and also even Two-Face in Idibia, who has finally said that he is shelving his idea. It's called the same people he called on uh, to shelve the idea of a protest. Do you think that he's been bullied into shelving his protest? I don't think he's been bullied. He has the right to protest. You know, to tell anyone not to protest will be like the way many of us raise children in, uh, in our nation. You beat, a, you beat a child, you know, the child, or the child is unhappy, and then you deny the rights to cry. A, pro a protest is a cry for help. 
if they want to go on with protests, they can go on. But what I do not particularly as ascribe to, what I do not, what I frown at seriously is the, is the notion or the thinking or even the, the, the allegations that those who raped our nation massively, that they are the ones pulling the strings behind the, the, uh, behind the scene. They started with Occupy, um, Occupy Central Bank, which failed woefully. Nigerians shunned it. That was where they were supposed to, uh, to, uh, to pick up. But you've, ha you've heard of credible groups. I mean, I just mentioned Enough mm -hmm. is Enough, which is mm -hmm. a part of this one. Do you think that the protest was going to be hijacked by political parties? It's been hijacked.